This is my meditation. For my life is falling apart. I want to talk to you. If you feel like your life is falling apart. That you have friction in every area of your life. That you walk out on faith. And you fall on disappointment. That your prayers are no longer louder than your pain. That you're doing your best and you're hurting at your most. I want to talk to you if you feel like God has led you into trouble, loves you but lets you down. If you feel as if this, this planet, this life, this universe has no purpose. And if there's any purpose, it's either to hurt you or you just don't get it. This is for anyone whose life has become nothing but trouble. As you breathe with me, I don't want you to hide your pain anymore. If you feel like a disappointment, don't hide another second. If you feel like you are flying under the radar of your potential, don't hide another moment. I want you, and this is going to be hard, to accept your position. I also want you to know that there is a difference between accepting your pain and accepting your position. These are not the same. You have accepted your pain. Even if you're rejecting it, you're accepting the fact that you're in it. But now, accept where you are. You cannot change your geographical position in your spiritual realm if you do not account for it. You know, sometimes you go to sleep on top of your bed. But that's the song Beyonce sang. You wake up with the world on top of you. Take a deep breath. Account for your position. This is my meditation. For those whose pain have become louder than your prayers. I want you to know life is good, but you're not in a position to receive that so don't I want you to tell you I want you to tell yourself that you can get out of it but you may not be in that position either so don't the only thing I want you to tell yourself right now is every sacred text on the planet ends in a high note. Everybody explaining God's narrative. By the end, every ancient civilization, from the Sikhs to Jews, from Christians to Gentiles, every single civilization 
all of their stories, every sacred text, every folklore, every oral story, everyone walking the 12 steps of the hero's journey, they all end on a high note. And if your life is not on a high note, it is not ending yet. And that's what I want you to know. I want you to know that no matter what you feel, no matter how much it hurts, some of you are one hug away from suicide. Some of you can't take another loss. But this universe doesn't end on a down note, but an up one. That you can receive. You can receive that if you're hearing me in a down place, you didn't expect to hear me today. Which proves the reasonable doubt that there are other options being opened, pursuing you, and becoming available to you. I just happen to be one. This is my meditation for those whose lives are falling apart. I'd love to tell you so many different things about how it's going to work out for you, but you probably won't hear it. So I just want you to account for your current position, accept it, own it, because you can change anything you have accounted for. And the only other thing I've asked you to do besides breathe is receive that every sacred text, every hero's journey, every oral tradition ends on a high note. I've asked you to breathe. I've asked you to account for your position. And I have asked you to receive that sacred text ends on high notes. That's it. That's my meditation for you. That's what I hope you receive. I'd like to end this meditation with a story. During World War II, there was a Jewish man walking in a line being marched by the Nazis unto his death. The year, true story, is 1943. The location, somewhere in Germany, and he is being marched to a concentration camp and buildings around him are crumbled. As he is marching towards certain death, this Jewish man sees a church, a Christian church, crumbled into pieces. And in the rubble, the cross still stands. And while being an Orthodox Jew, the cross is not something of great value to him, but in this moment, he sees while marching himself 
a certain death. In the rubble, there was a sign of redemption. And as he's walking, he faces his eyes to the right and feels a calm. religious symbol that's not even his. That story is written in a journal. His fate is unknown. But I can tell you this. This universe has ways of showing you in the rubble there's always redemption. And I pray that you find yourself looking towards redemption and not marching towards your death. This is my meditation for those whose lives are falling apart. Antonio T. Smith Jr. You can plant better. You can dominate.